we have the one magic piece that nobody else has. And I would be surprised if many consumers at least have really heard a lot about us. So I'm Andy Wood, I'm the president uh, of Cubic Motion. We're 10 years old this year and we specialise in facial animation for video games. We've worked on a lot of the very big games of all time recently, Call of Duty, God of War and Spider-Man, which has become I think the best selling PlayStation 4 game of all time. So originally animation was done by hand, a hand process. Our process automates, it just automatically transfers movement, it can be an eye, it can be a mouth, whatever, and instantly put it onto a computer-generated model. But we also have artists here, we have trackers who can hand-touch the automated capture that we do, and we have producers. So some of our favourite projects involve filming a human being, usually an actor, and instantly transferring their, their movement onto a computer-generated character. We made a decision a couple of years ago to make elements of our technology licensable to third parties. Film producers can now film actors in real time and direct the actor and, and their computer avatar there and then. It's much more cost effective, you can turn it around much quicker and it can lead to many other things. So at the moment Cubic Motion focuses on delivering the highest fidelity, highest quality facial animation that exists in the world today. Digital double, I've got one, but I could have a digital dog or dragon or whatever, and I think that will become prevalent for everybody, and that will change elements of human interaction in, in the future. That's maybe five or 10 years out, but we will all have our own digital doubles. Speaking at BVE, I hope there's ways in which we can show how we get from A to B to C to D. How can creative people, more creative people than us, really take it to the next levels? Who knows where we're gonna end up?